episode 101. Welcome to Style Masterclass, the podcast that teaches women to look stylish and feel confident so that they can show up ready to conquer and slay no matter what size they are. I'm your host, Miss J. You ready? Hello, welcome back to the podcast. This week we are celebrating some amazing milestones. We hit the 100th episode last week. The podcast is now two years old. I can't even imagine. Two years old. And this week is the launch week for my book, How to Be a Fucking Lady, A Modern Guide to Being Charming and Fierce, AF. I know you've probably heard me talk about writing the book, or I've mentioned the book a few times over the course of a lot of podcast episodes. Well, now it's real. It's tangible. It's something I can hold in my hands. It's insane. And I'm so excited to share it with you. In fact, I'm going to be giving you a preview of the book and read the introduction. But before I get to that, I want to give you your mission for the week, your style and confidence mission. In terms of style, And this is something that I took away from the virtual retreat ladies that I hosted this past weekend. I mean, amazing women. And the biggest takeaway that I learned from them, and perhaps something you all need to hear perhaps over and over again, is that you have full permission to like what you like and want what you want simply because you want it. Without equivocation, without explanation, without justification, you can simply like what you like because you like it. This is particularly true of your clothing choices. You can also not like something simply because you don't like it. Without having to explain why, without having to justify your no, you can simply let your no be no and walk away completely free from guilt and shame because no is no is no. And in case you needed permission, here is your giant permission slip and a giant hug to go forth and conquer, my darling. You can want what you want simply because you want it. Your confidence challenge is to stop with the equivocation and the justification Someone offers you an item of clothing that you don't like, you're allowed to say, I don't like it, and move it along. If you're in love with an item of clothing, you're allowed to rock it, full force, full confidence, without having to explain your selection. That is your mission, my darling. Go forth and conquer. So now I'm going to give you a little preview of the book. But you know I couldn't leave you without some sort of challenge for the week ahead. So here goes. Welcome to How to Be a Fucking Lady, a modern guide to being charming and fierce AF. First, I must tell you this is not your grandmama's charm school. In this guide, you will learn about charm, etiquette, and how to show up like a lady boss. This guide is for the woman who has both brains and beauty and wants to show up accordingly. This guidebook is meant to celebrate vintage style and principles. It is of chief import that you know I adopt the vintage style, but not vintage values. I am not a proponent of adopting a set of behaviors that are antithetical to femininity or femaleness, nor am I a proponent of misogyny and racism of bygone eras. Instead, I am proposing you take the concepts from the best charm schools in the 1940s and 1950s and make them accessible, intelligible, and modern. Much of the charm school curriculum from your grandmama's day still has relevance, but much from that time period was laced with cringy values that we can leave behind. I am rewriting and redefining the old charm school curriculum because a woman's desire to learn to speak, walk, stand, and converse is no longer solely to please, attract, or keep men. I grew up in a predominantly female family. My grandmother had five daughters, I have four sisters, and my sister has three daughters. My cousins have mostly girl children. The lady leadership continues. This overwhelmingly female influence taught me a great deal about what it means to be female, 
feminine, and fierce. True to any family unit, we created our own charm school and etiquette to dictate how ladies behave. I have one aunt who puts it best when discussing these types of things. She says, it's because I'm such a frickin' lady. She then dispenses the most practical advice. One example of this is my grandmother, aunts, and mother always advising us to pontes chuching, which is New Yorican slang that loosely translates to get prettied up before you leave the house. Don't go out looking crazy. My grandmother used to tell my mother and my aunts, don't do good things that look bad. In other words, don't be seen as overly flirtatious, sit on a man's lap, or reach into his pocket. Yeah, I'll let you further interpret that one. My mother also told my sisters and me, should we get into a fist fight, you better come home looking worse than the other girl. My family etiquette, a code of social behavior, is definitely female, feminine and fierce. As my aunt say, it's because I'm such a freaking lady. My family was and is still governed by these rules of etiquette. It was not until I experienced other etiquette codes in different settings that I realized the rest of my adult life would be a series of code switching between being female and feminine and learning when to throw in the fierce. I realized that no matter how many etiquette books I read, I would continue to be confronted with the same thing. I was trying to learn how to become charming and learn etiquette from a group of writers that lived in a time and place that was most certainly a man's world. The advice given was mainly about modifying your behavior so you could attract a man and keep him. Most of the advice regarding female relationships suggested you should appear empathetic and likable to your female friends. To be an asset to your husband seemed to be of chief import. It was a lot of the do's and don'ts without a real sense of why. True to my own irreverent nature, I decided to write a book about how to be a freaking lady in a way that takes the best of past advice and modernizes it in a way that makes sense. There is value in pontes chuching, or learning to dress like a lady. There is sound advice of being wary of your surroundings and the men around you. There is also value in deciding how to show up fierce no matter how formidable your foe may appear. I decided there needed to be a book about this female future. Learning to be a freaking lady is essential because women are increasingly upwardly mobile. Yet their given etiquette may not withstand a world that still operates as though it's a man's world. Being a freaking lady allows you to code switch between the terms and familial concepts you were raised with while reconceptualizing them in a way that makes sense, is practical, and applicable. For example, words like elegance, poise, gumption, and elocution have no meaning in our present day and age. You can understand their definitions, but fail to see their continued significance and relevance. What comes to mind is a line of skinny ladies parading around with a stack of books on their head. So let's spin and code switch. Let's put some juice on old concepts and give them relevance. Contrast that with words like chuching or phrases like don't do good things that look bad and you have a hell of a hot mess of mixed messages. Being a freaking lady is about how to sit, stand, and talk while being firm in your convictions and confidence. In this guide, you will learn a modernized version of charm school subjects. I want you to love vintage style, but not the values. Here, elegance is all about becoming stylish AF. Beauty includes all women of every shape and size. Elocution is about how to talk and knowing when to shut your face. Poise is learning to rise up. Gumption is for the woman who has more than just a pretty face. Pluck is because you want to show up like a boss. A freaking lady is feminine, female, and fierce. She models it for the women around her. Her way of being is a whole mood and a way of life. It is more than the reputation that precedes her. Why do we care? Because confident women leave legacies. I hope you enjoyed this preview of the book. To get your own copy, you can go to Amazon or go to www.judithgatan.com forward slash book. All right, let's get it, glam gals. Miss J out. Thank you for listening to today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to judithgatan.com. Click on the Start Here button to get access to my free personal style class. I give you a quick style win, a confidence boost, and you walk away with the tools to start getting stylish. Who doesn't love that? 
See you there. Miss J out.